This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hey everyone, it's Blackfire. Battlefield is a franchise known for impressive destruction, massive explosions, and intense vehicular combat. But it's also known for something else, audio. DICE has an incredible team of sound designers and technicians that pour their talents into getting some of the most immersive and compelling sounds in video games. For today's video, we're going to dive into some of the best sounds in Battlefield. Some send chills up your spine, others are terrifying, and a few, well, they're just great examples that showcase the level of detail that DICE stuffs into their games. If you're interested in this behind-the-scenes kind of stuff, then you've got to check out Skillshare and the incredible class on virtual filmmaking by another creator, Cinematic Captures. The course digs into everything from finding assets to building a virtual camera rig. Everything you need to get started in creating your own awesome trailers. Skillshare also has tons of other courses focusing on topics like social media management, YouTube strategy, and of course, things like audio production. The first 1,000 people to use my link in the video description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. So, go and explore something today. Again, check them out with the link in the video description. All right, so let's look at one of the more terrifying sounds in Battlefield, the V1 Flying Bomb. This weapon in Battlefield 5 creates a terrific explosion, but the noise that precedes it is in many ways just as intimidating. The V1 was powered by a pulse jet engine, which creates a unique sonic signature. To duplicate this sound in-game, DICE took a bit of an unorthodox approach, and, and when I say unorthodox, I mean they went all the way to northern Sweden where people build jet snowmobiles powered by the same design that drove the doodlebugs in the skies over Europe. Well, you can't argue with the results. This unique approach allowed DICE to accurately recreate the audio of the Vengeance weapon and get you as close to the real thing as you'd ever want to be. Next is one of the more rewarding sounds in the franchise. Headshot noises have been a part of the Battlefield franchise for a while, but many would argue DICE hit peak sound effect with them in Battlefield 1. Like many sounds in Battlefield, the headshot sound from Battlefield 1 is a mix of several individual sounds, in this case including drums, a helmet impact, and a mechanical clock of all things. Kind of gives a new meaning to the phrase, getting your clock clean. Third is one of the more ominous sounds in Battlefield, this one out of Battlefield Bad Company 2. It actually has a name, the Yumino Buki, but you probably know it as the Black Weapon. Out of here. Hang on a second. The Black Weapon is incredibly powerful, so it would make sense that it should also sound powerful. When recording the soundtrack for Battlefield Bad Company 2, the game's audio director was so stunned by the power of the bass trombone in the orchestra, they decided to slap some reverb on it, and from there, well, things start to sound awfully familiar. For the actual detonation of the Yumino Buki, developers used a heavily processed version of the sound, along with thunder and some animal noises. The bass trombone in many ways actually helps to create an identity for Battlefield Bad Company 2, and if you pay close attention, you'll actually hear it pop up in a few other places. For our fourth sound, let's jump back to Battlefield 1. The game has plenty of great audio details, from soldiers coughing inside of damaged tanks to the sound of your soldier walking over the casings from spent artillery. But one of my favorite has to be the charge sound after taking a sector in operation. yourself retreating on operations, there's actually a variation where you can hear bagpipes playing in the background. 
Another reason to love that sound is that it's allegedly actual DICE developers, recorded from the rooftops of the studio in Stockholm. Supposedly they had to cut recording short because random yelling in the middle of a city can apparently be a little alarming. Lastly, you didn't think we'd go out without a bang, did you? Hands down, one of the most talked about sounds when it comes to Battlefield is the Martini Henry from Battlefield 1. This single shot falling block rifle is among the most devastating in the game and it feels incredible. Arguably, one of the main reasons for this is the gun's audio. Fun fact, DICE actually used an Enfield 1852 musket to capture the sound for the weapon. Similar to the Martini Henry, it's a black powder rifle, but it does fire a heavier projectile. Combined with some creative microphone placement and reverb, developers created one of the most iconic and devastating weapon sounds in a video game to date. As usual with these kinds of videos, I've got a few more bonus sounds that didn't quite make the cut, but they are still very fun to talk about. Battlefield Hardline, for example, has some great sounds like the taser or the grenade launcher, but one of my favorites from the game is the shovel. God damn it, it's man. brutal in an absolutely hilarious way. It's the perfect mix of violence and humiliation. <laughs> Meanwhile, Battlefield 1's trench whistle is fantastic, and it actually gives players a way to really add to the World War I atmosphere in-game. There's also the subtle change in audio when firing a weapon in Battlefield 5. Your gun's audio slightly increases in pitch as the number of bullets in the magazine decreases or the gun gets closer to overheating. That's a pretty crafty way to help you feel the weight of your weapon in a video game. However you look at it, Battlefield's audio design has always been one of the franchise's strong points. And with Battlefield 6 on the horizon and developers promising, quote, a game with never seen before scale, here's to hoping the audio team can also kick it up another notch. What's your favorite sound in Battlefield? And what do you think of my selections? Tell me down below in the comments. If you enjoy these kinds of videos, leave a like, if not a dislike, and make sure to subscribe for more Battlefield content. If you want to support the channel, hitting that share button on social media really goes a long way. And as always, thanks for watching.